are live in Los Angeles with Good Morning La La Land and the gorgeous actress, producer, and philanthropist, Joyce Gerard. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming. Amazing. Good morning. Being yeah. here today. <laughs> yeah, mommy's the best title. Right. <laughs> in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> so you have some amazing stories about how you met your husband and maintaining a successful relationship. Tell me about the moment you met him. So it was a blind date. Believe it or we'll not, sign you up. a what? blind date. Believe it or not, a girl that neither of us really knew. I had met really? her once. He met her once. She was dating a guy that used to work for him at the time, and she says she calls me out of the blue. I met her once at a party, and she calls me out of the blue and says, "I need you to meet this guy." And I'm like, "No." no. <laughs> and I, I was like, "I'm single by choice. I'm working on my career." <laughs> And she's like, no, 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 you got to meet this guy. And I said, no, I don't do blind dates. She lived in New York, by the okay. way. And she tells me, I tell her, when you come to L.A., naturally, organically, we'll all go to dinner. And she mm -hmm. goes, no, I'm not coming to L.A. for the next couple months, so you have to meet the guy. And I'm like, no, you don't know me. You don't know what type of guys I like. I am not going to go meet him. No, 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 he's a producer. And I said, oh, how cliche, just because I'm an actor. Right. <laughs> I have to date him. Right. And she goes, you have to meet him. He is the man for you. You guys are going to get married. And I'm like, uh -uh. no. And I didn't trust her or nothing. Wow. She's so not a matchmaker. What made you change your mind? I didn't. He stalked me for three months on the phone. She gave wow. him my number. And when she gave him my number, I told her, you know what? Lose my number because you're so disrespectful. You gave the guy my number. And now oh. here I have this guy calling me. And on the phone, Whoa. he sounded, and we've been together 16 years. Wow. And on the phone, he sounded, I kid you not, like he was 100 years old. And I was like, <laughs> this girl thinks I'm a gold digger. <laughs> and then I just want to date like the, the, the famous old oh, producer. Wow. And I was like, oh my God. And there wasn't Google back in the day. Oh, no. I wasn't even opening my computer. I had a computer that I won in the Miss Puerto Rico pageant. <laughs> and I had it in a box because I thought, if I take it out, it's going to get old. Right, so right. it was in the box. It was like, it's so cute there. Like, I mean, <laughs> so I wasn't techie. I'm still not techie. And he just called me every day. And by the time, when every time he called, I was like, oh, it's the oldie, but he's so nice. I don't want to be disrespectful. So all my girlfriends would be like, oh, the oldie that's calling you. That's so, you know, Sweet. that's so but you screwed up. That this girl. But I, I, I picked up and I'm like, hi, listen, I'm, I'm in a meeting. Hi, I have to wash my hair. Hi, I, I have period pain. Hi. I mean, I had every excuse in the book because, you know. But on the phone, he was so nice. I remember once telling one of my girlfriends that I wanted to hook him up with her because I was like, Lauren, this guy, if he was only at least like 50, I would date him because he is amazing. He's the kindest soul you can imagine. He's sweet. He's funny. On the phone, I liked him. I said, you know what? This guy's going to be my friend for a long time, wow. but I want to keep it clear that I'm never going to date him. You know, it's it's just... Mm. I'm not going to know. But he really <laughs> didn't know how old he was. He just I, sounded I, old. He just sounded old. But I knew nothing about him. And by the way, he doesn't just get that from me. He gets that from a lot of colleagues he in the business. He must be a wise old soul. Right? Well, he's German. So oh, okay. he, he talks, uh, you know, he talks with his accent mm -hmm. that he doesn't think exists. <laughs> <laughs> so then what? So how many weeks to how long did it So long? three months, he called me every single day. What? And for three months, wow. Wow. I made excuses. And every week he made a party at his house just to have a place uh, to invite me because I said I even smart. told him there was a point where I even told him, look, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to go out with you. I don't do blind dates. I'm sorry. I like you on the you know you're very nice. I like you as a person, but I'm not going to date you. So let's just keep it the way. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it real. Yeah. And he was like, so come to my party. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he was confident that if I met him, I, and I was like, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the address? He made like eight parties. I never showed up. Wow. And he always and tells he the story. Calling. He kept calling every day. And he would call me the day after the party. So I'm sad you couldn't make it, but I'll make another one <laughs> next week. <laughs> wow. It's this fine. He's like, I can do this forever. I can throw parties well, forever. It's fine. Legit. Because he Googled his friend that worked for him, Googled and said, listen, this is the girl. You have to meet her. So he was like, oh, yeah. I, he saw all the pictures and all this stuff. And he was like, oh, my God, when I saw the pictures, I just wanted to meet you. Wow. So then finally, one day, I was coming back from New York from doing a modeling job. And when he calls me and I said, weren't you going to Germany? Are you on the plane? And back in the day, I thought, wow, how decadent. Lauren is going to love this guy. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's calling me from the plane. That is so nice. And, and he says, he says, yeah, what are you doing tonight? And I said, oh, I'm just going to order in. I'm ordering Chinese. I love Chinese. But he goes, OK, I'll pick you up at 8. And I'm like, hmm. And it was just pure silence. And I had no oh, excuse no. up my sleeve. Yeah, I no. was like, 
what am I gonna, I was like, well, well, I need to unpack, well, well, and he goes, I'll pick you up at eight. And I'm like, well, well, perhaps we should do a coffee. And he goes, coffee's BS, using the entire word. I don't want yeah. to right He goes, coffee's BS, I'll pick you up at eight. And I'm like, okay, I'll just be really ugly so that he can. <laughs> and then he's over me and I'll take Lauren's picture in my club. Wear a potato sack. I was like, I'll take Lauren's picture so that, wow, look at my glamorous friend and look at me. I mean, you gotta date my glamorous friend. So. What, he says, okay, I'll pick you up. And then I, I was really complicated. I said, no, no, you have to change the restaurant just so that he would be turned off. Like, oh, this girl's oh complicated. My oh, my God. So you I said, you have to change to the restaurant. I was so sabotaging it. And thank God, what God has in stock for you, it's for you and nothing can sabotage it, even yourself. And when I, I, I'm looking from my apartment, I'm looking down and I see this big head of hair. Hmm. And, I, and I call my best friend and I'm like, oh, Oldie has a toupee. <laughs> <laughs> you did not. You did not. Oh, no. Uh -uh. So I'm like, oh, my God, Oldie has a toupee. And she's like, oh, my God, what restaurant are you going to? That is so embarrassing. And I'm like, oh, my God, but he's so nice. You know, oh I, I, can, I don't have the heart to now cancel. And she goes, oh, my God, oh, my God, just go and go to McDonald's or something. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. So I go down. I'm like, okay, here we go. And I had zero makeup, hair in a bun, big fat cowboy jeans, flat cowboy boots, a wife beater, and a big jacket. So I looked like I was cleaning in my house. No, he probably looked. Right? <laughs> he always says, this is my favorite look. Can you go back to that? <laughs> I was, so I, I come out, and when I see him, I'm like, you're you? And he goes, finally. <laughs> and I'm like, <gasps> I was like, oh my god, this is. You know when you're a little girl, and you imagine you're perfect, Barbie wow. doll Ken, wow. and you're like, this is the man of my dream. That was, and I just could wow. not believe, I was like, oh my God, wow. oh my God. And I got really nervous and I started shaking and then we went to the dinner and I looked like crap. And then I went in the bathroom expecting any girl to give me mercy makeup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> and not so one that. girl walked in <gasps> that bathroom. And this was at Asia de Cuba. <laughs> so if you know the Mondrian, it's always packed. Yeah, yeah there's no reason. There's, I mean, not one girl walked in. And all I had was my rose, little rosebud, like a little lip gloss. And I said, okay, I'm gonna become J-Lo. I'm gonna put it all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna gloss. Oh, shut up. You did not. I did. Oh no. So I let my hair down. I'm like, let me fluff my hair because I had it in a bun. I put the gloss all over my face and I'm like, okay. So I just walked out and I'm like, oh my God, I don't even have a bra. Oh, like, no. <laughs> like be sexy or nothing. So I just went and we had the best conversation. We talked about our passions in life. We talked. I'm extremely passionate about charity, and he told me his mom has been doing charity her whole life. So I was like, oh my God, because when you are going to be with someone, you're going to be with their family too. Mm -hmm. you know, so, and that's just the way it is. You marry everybody. You know? And now you've been married for 16 years? We've been married. No, we got engaged okay. immediately. We met in February. He proposed to me in August on his birthday. Wow. Um, and he proposed right away. And then I said, you know what? We need to take our time because mm -hmm. I always believe that. You can't just, I, I mean, nothing wrong with people that decide to get married right away. But for me personally, I always believed, you know what, we need to see if we are great living together. It's a different mm. thing dating than living. It's a different thing. Absolutely. You know, let's just see if this is really a forever Smart situation one. because mm -hmm. I don't want to get divorced. So let's just see if it's going to, I come from a single mommy that was divorced. So I didn't want that for my kids. So I was like, let me just wait. Let's just wait. And um, we lived together for a while. We were happier than ever. We never, thank God, knock on wood, knock on anything. <laughs> we don't fight because we have the same north. We have the same vision in life and, mm. and the same morals. And, you know, so thank God we're very compatible with that. So we lived together for a while, engaged, and then we got married. We've been married now nine years. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. That is such a wonderful what a story. Beautiful story. Thank you. And two kids down the road. We are wow. so happy. And I had really bad pregnancies. And I can't imagine another soul that would have shared with me mm. that such a hardship that was brought into my life with my pregnancies, like my husband. He was there for me day and night. He supports all my crazy endeavors. <laughs> he is just my everything. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. What qualities do you most love about your husband? I, you, you know, when you were saying, well, I was listening to you when you mm. were saying kindness is so important. Mm. I love how kind he is. I love how genuine he is. I love how, it, in Spanish we say, no hacer acepción de personas. It's like, 
not making anybody different. He makes everybody feel the same. Wow. And for me, being raised in Puerto Rico, that was something always important. In Puerto Rico, there's no class division. There's no color. There's none of that. Mm -hmm. There's, we don't, I mean, I didn't grow up with that. You know, there's oh. no, oh, you're black. Oh, you're not. We're everything because we are, we are life, we're love, you know, and that's mm -hmm. what we should mm -hmm. teach our children how to be. Yeah. And, and that's, I think that's wow. what I love about him. Yeah. He's so kind, he's I amazing. I have a question for you then. For the women out there that are looking, they're going, they believe that there's somebody out there. They believe that that, that story is what I think so many people desire to have. Yeah, they want, yeah. What would you say for people that haven't found that person that's just right for them? I would say don't settle, like I said before, don't settle for Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. Mm -hmm. Some guys also settle for Mrs. Right. Don't settle for a person that has come into your life and you're trying to make it work. If it doesn't work, it's not gonna work. Mm. So don't settle, just wait, you know, and be open to love because also e you might not be open and Mr. or Mrs. Wright is coming into your life and you're not open. So it's mm. all about timing as well. You know, you both have to be ready. But when you're ready, when you know, you know what? I love myself enough to be able to give love because the number one thing is you have to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, if you don't value yourself, yeah. if you don't take care of yourself, <laughs> you have nothing to give. So mm. you have to love yourself first. And once you love yourself enough to where you're ready to give that love, then just be open mm. to find it. Oh. Let Powerful. the right person come. You know what's really interesting though is that so many people find the right person and it doesn't stay that right person. Yeah. How do you maintain that? Maintain that intimacy, maintain that relationship, maintain that feeling all these years later? So people right. change. People, it's, it's you know, mm. it's human nature. Some people change. However, I do believe if you give yourself enough time to know someone, then you will know what they're really about. Right. Because some people, unfortunately, become something they're not just to make you happy. Right. Like I said before, you know, some people, some girls do it a lot. Some guys mm -hmm. do it a lot. They become what they think you want them to be just to make you happy. So you have to give yourself time to know that person. Completely time right. to, to mm -hmm. see their ups and downs because life is not always going to be color pink you know you you know that life is going to throw curveballs at you right. and you have to find a person that is going to be strong enough with you to accept those cur cur you know curveballs and go mm -hmm. navigate life with you so you have to just get to know that right person and if somebody changes i tell all my friends if it's not a healthy relationship if it's not right get away from oh, it such great advice get away i told my mother mommy i want you to get a divorce mm. and when i was a very young girl you know and i think if it's not right you have to be strong enough to step away For strong sure. enough to, to let do. it go yeah. yeah we have to take a break okay. but i'm so like i'm just not only are you gorgeous but you can tell an incredible story and i'm blown away and <laughs> with the beauty you. inside you're so out, beautiful sure. you all are oh. amazing right so when we come back i give it up to you guys <laughs> yeah. i just sit here and i just you know, you're i just sit here and enjoy <laughs> yes. the beauty around so me when we come back we are going to hear the story behind your secret elixir and what yes. keeps you looking so beautiful stay tuned Aaron. i'm rob Matt. and i'm jasmine Moyang. Monday through Friday, we are going to be streaming to you live, Los Angeles. America's first live streaming daily talk show. At 9 a.m. Pacific time on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Oh, and we have a sexy show for you today. We have got Will, Leanne, and Gabe in the house. Let's Hello. go back there. Hi! Talk to four beautiful, intelligent, conscious women. Clearly, I was miserable the entire time. <laughs> she has a TV show similar to your guys. Ellen. Yes! Woo! Woo! Yes! Woo! Come on. I feel so bad for Jess. We're, li we're live, too, for the, the people viewing. Yeah. For the people viewing. Wow! 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 M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Wow! 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 We definitely were not prepared today, and it was the... Wow! Wow! We are streaming 
catch you live Monday through Friday on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Happy holidays. Good morning, Good morning La La Land. Five, six, seven, eight. We are the Musketeers, and we proudly wear our ears. We mousing, hey, hey. We mousing, hey, hey. M-I-C-K-E-Y, M-O-U-S-E, Club Mickey Mouse. Good morning, Good morning, La La Land. live in Los Angeles with the gorgeous actress, producer, and philanthropist, Joyce Rod. And now we get to talk about the secret behind this gorgeous hair. So I want to know all about the Musical Elixir collection. Oh my goodness. Okay, how long do we have? I can right. talk about that. Let's start at the beginning because I, the story, I, I, you know, when I was reading and doing my research, I found the story to be so beautiful. And you mentioned your grandmother and her oils. Yes. Tell us about that. So my grandma in Puerto Rico, when, when we grew up, we were the, what people would consider very poor. I mean, I had two shoes. I had the shoes for church and I had the shoes for school. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I have a shoe fetish right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all do. That's a girl thing, right? But yeah. when I grew up, um, we were very poor, but I never felt poor. I felt extremely rich. And like I was saying in the last segment, in Puerto Rico, we don't have that whole division or we're not, grow we're not brought up to feel that you have less. As long as you have love, you have it all. Mm -hmm. And that's, oh, that's how we amen, were when, right? when we grew up. So my whole collection, it's about love and nature. Um, because that's what we had in abundance. Mm -hmm. We might not have had the best shoes, but we <laughs> had all the love and nature in the world. And my grandma would literally pluck from El Campo. El Campo is the mountains, because everybody in, thinks Puerto Rico, they think beautiful beaches. No, I grew up grew up with the cows and and the alu, my, my turkey, and the chickens, and you know, so I grew uh. up being a little farm girl in Puerto Rico. Um, and my grandma would literally pluck from Mother Nature, and she would pluck all a buridi and tell me, oh my God, this is literally the tree of life. They call it the tree of life because it wow. brings life back to everything it touches. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is what this does, and this is... So she would do all these potions. She would put maracuya, my favorite fruit in the world. It's called pacha, a.k.a. passion, passion fruit. fruit. Yes! Uh, so she would just do all these mm. potions and, and just in a pilon. A pilon is like a wooden thing mm -hmm. that you smush things in. So she would just smush all these potions and then she'd put it on my hair, put it on my skin. She'd be like, okay, Lassie, leave it there. They called me Lassie because of the Aww. dog. Yeah. The dog Aww. was loyal. So they said, she's so loyal, she's Lassie. Aww. So she's like, Lassie, leave it on and you'll see. And she would just do this and I'd be like, okay, do whatever you want, Abuelita. Because I just loved her so much. I'm like, okay, she's crazy, but do whatever you want. <laughs> and then I just kept doing it and doing it. And through my life, I kept doing my little potions and my friends would be, what's your secret? What are you using? And I'm like, oh, my little potions that I, you know, and traveling, then I fell in love with Argon and then I fell in love with Moringa on a trip mm -hmm. to Asia. So I, I kept doing potions throughout my life. And one day I said, why am I compromising? Why yes. am I still doing these potions all these years later? Why am I doing this? And everybody kept telling me, oh, we want to attach you to this line. My, 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 step, my people keep te kept telling me, oh, somebody called, I don't want to mention who, because I don't <laughs> want to mention everybody we turned down. Yeah. But they called because they want you to be the face of this. They could call because, and I said, I don't want to be the face of something. I don't want to compromise and sell something I don't like. Mm -hmm. I want to sell something that I love. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. then we went and we so created good. it. I went to my lab and I said, these are my potions. Can you bottle it? Can you do it? And it all started with my miracle oil. It's my no compromise. We don't have it here because I was so I'm sold out. So I don't have it. <laughs> She's gonna I have, just have a good problem. I have one in my bag. I have one in my bag because okay. I always have it in my car. And so it's in my bag. If we can show it later. Mm -hmm. um, but it's my no compromise solution. It's 100% organic. It's what I use on wow. my face. And then from there we kept growing. And and I wanted to do a shampoo that had great ingredients. I I stu suddenly started realizing. You know what? When you use the wrong products, even if you are blessed with good hair, you're going to have a bad hair day. And what girl doesn't like a good hair day? You know? And what girl doesn't have a hundred different products in her cupboard? Yes. I mean, I've tried a million different things, yes. but it's difficult to find and know what really is right. working for and you. And you know something? Mother Nature has everything we need. So if you can combine sure. Mother Nature infused with a little bit of science, with all the best of science that 
we've found throughout the years, throughout the centuries, hundreds and hundreds of years, then you can get the best of the best. Couldn't but you shouldn't more. have mm -hmm. all these chemicals and all these bad things that people apply to their skin. You know, maybe initially you're gonna feel, oh, it's giving me an instant fix. But then in the long run, you're gonna realize, okay, this was not good. Mm -hmm. It's the same with your hair. Mm -hmm. I just, my last product is a serum and it took me forever and my network, Evine, where I sell my products on home shopping, they were like, we need the serum, we need the serum. I said, you have to wait because it has to be perfect. I want something that is not weighing your hair down, but I'm not gonna compromise and have silicone because for the girls, you don't have this problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for, the girl, for the girls, every girl knows that we love our serums. We love things that are gonna tame our frizz, things that when you, after you come out of the shower, you put on. Yeah, it weighs it down, it smooths it out. You Absolutely. want things, but you don't wanna lose your bounce. Like you have your beautiful curls, you don't wanna lose that. So if you have something that is too oily, you're gonna lose it. Mm -hmm. However, to not keep it oily, they can't leave just natural oils, so what they do is they fill it up with fillers, mm -hmm. AKA silicones. Wow. What silicone does is it coats your hair. Silicone is a plastic, nothing wrong with silicone for other things, but for your face, for your hair, it's a filler. What it's mm -hmm. gonna do is it's gonna coat the shaft of your hair with a plastic, not letting it breathe, therefore it's just gonna break. Mm. So do you wow. use a curling iron or anything hot on your hair? I do, because I, I work on camera a lot. So, you know, I, I always have a lot of people doing my hair and I like to give them the freedom to do whatever they want. So some people wanna do hot curlers, some people wanna do, right now what I do is, my one of my little secrets, I wa when I wash my hair, I put it up in a bun like this and then I use one little tiny clip and I let it dry. And oh. if you do that, it's gonna take a long time to dry, by the way, mine takes a whole day. I have to wash it on the day before, a day that I have nothing to do the entire day because it's gonna be up there and the inside takes a long time to dry. But if you do that, if you have the time to do that on a weekend or something, trust me, when it goes down, you have that beautiful wave, you have that beautiful natural bounce. And all this volume, my and you, goodness. Well, and well, this is, everybody asked for this. This is really, a miracle in right? a bottle. I mean, Victoria's been raving about it. This, so. It's really a miracle in a bottle. It's my wow. hero product right now. Everybody's in love with it because it shows results. Everybody, you know, everybody wants something that is going to make your hair good from the inside out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> something that is going to be good for your skin, yes. for your nails. Mm -hmm. And this is it. And the reason also why it took long is because if you go to the pharmacy, anybody watching can go to the pharmacy and see every product that they have for hair you have 5,000, maybe 2,000 micrograms of biotin, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah, that's this is what they 3,333% wow. of what they we, recommend. And yes, you know, we right? have 10,000 micrograms of, of biotin per serving. Wow. We have glutathione, which is amazing for the skin. We have resveratrol for anti-aging. We have my Pure 4, the Moringa, the Buriti, the Maracuya, and the Argon. So all the vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, fatty acids mm -hmm. from Mother Nature. But what we have that sets us apart from anything is my hero product, it's Cynotine. And Cynotine is the first patented soluble keratin. And what Cynotine mm. does is it literally attaches to your hair, making it stronger from the inside the out. protein. Yes, mm. it's a protein. And in our clinical studies, our subjects had 35% more hair wow. in 90 days. I'm yeah. starting today. And now, <laughs> right? Um, oh my goodness, right I gotta now. Go. Yes. Challenge <laughs> accepted. Wow. But, well, you also have, I mean, the packaging is just beautiful. You have the Aegis Secret, and it's an anti-aging 24-hour hydration. Yes, it's 24-hour hydration. It has SPF, mm -hmm. because for me, SPF is very important. It's crucial. You young girls out there that, like me, believed you didn't need SPF and you could burn in the sun for hours, don't, don't do, do it. it. <laughs> don't do it. Uh, don't don't if you're going to do it, yeah. just put something that has, you know, an, a good SPF and it's going to protect you from all these fine lines. And they do show up eventually. Yeah. Eventually. So don't do it. And also the I Revive. The I Revive is amazing. The I Revive is, I mean, I, it, it's also genetic. People that have a little bit of dark circles. So what can you do to help it? You have to do everything, you know, you have to put everything you can that has good ingredients. And right. it, it reduces the poofiness. I call it poofiness. <laughs> I love poofiness too. It reduces, it reduces the poofiness. It reduces the dark circles because it has a brightening 
in it, and it gives you all the vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that you need. Oh, oh especially wow. with these early mornings on Good Morning La La Land. Yes, you need it. So You're like the poofiness? Yes. yes, the poofiness. You have a bucket right? of that right there. <laughs> <laughs> bucket. And Iggy Rodriguez, wherever he is, he also right? wants a bucket of that. Yes. I'm learning so much on the show, and, and it is so important because we've had like this, well, do we have products? Do we have, you know, LA, we want it to be about lifestyle and wellness and, you know, all the goodness. And, yes. and this is exactly what we've been talking about. And you like, know what I love? Organic, all it's it. coming from an empowered woman. It's coming from all <laughs> yes. these things, right? You really are the epitome of, um, are, yeah, for, right? sort of why we did the show. Um, and one of the things I love most, um, in addition to the product itself, is what it says on the bottle, which is, because beauty is in you. Yes. Oh. I love that. It's beauty from the inside out. Yes. You know? It's always been my motto. Um, beauty is only skin deep. It's really what's in your heart that matters. Mm -hmm. That's always been, I guide my life right. by it. Oh. Um, my grandma taught it to me back in the day, and I could cry right now, but oh. it's what I guide my life by. Right. Mm. So we are out of time again. But where can everyone find you, first of all? Well, they can find uh, my products on JoyceGerard.com, and they can find me on the Twitter. I call it the Twitter. I'm not so <laughs> <laughs> On the Twitter, on <laughs> Joyce <laughs> Gerard. <laughs> <laughs> right. And on the Instagram, I'm Joyce <laughs> underscore Gerard. Okay, good. So when we come back, we have a little surprise. So stay tuned, you guys. You guys don't want to miss a little something we have in store. <laughs> Seriously, I do. Oh. I seriously do. I told I her when I saw her, I was like, okay, I'm gonna make this up. You're like my hair crush. <laughs> You're like my everything crush, but like, wow. Like, She's your so hair beautiful. Like, your hair has like gold. Crush for You're sure. so beautiful. And you know, Victoria is the perfect person here to represent your product because right. every person that comes in says how gorgeous her she hair is. She has beautiful and hair. And she gives you all the credit. Oh. No, I seriously do. So, okay, it's funny. I finished all the um, supplements that you gave me, but you gave Andy supplements. And he doesn't take so he first he would just leave them in the studio. So what I did was I was like, Andy, you can't just leave these like these are like God, you can't just leave them hanging around the studio. So you can't have these. them and now you them in the studio. There's now only like four left, honestly. There take, you go. You guys can have yes. these. Yes. You can leave them here but every I'm morning you take two. Every morning you all take two. I'm gonna say more. You have no idea. With this but much you, hair on the couch, <laughs> I feel like I need to grow my hair out. I'm like, dude, I gotta grow my hair out I know, now. You look great. Yeah. You look like an afro here. I know. I know. I know. But the curls will be spinning, though. You know. Yeah. I love your hair. It's so pretty. I love I'm a little jealous oh. right now. Oh, I love it. It's amazing. What shampoo do you use? Yeah. What's that? What shampoo do you use? I don't even have to worry about you the shampoo. It's so it's short. Like, it's I don't like worry about that yeah. stuff. Yeah, I don't yes. worry about it. I do have a question for you, though. So I was reading an article about how important it is to, to store products, particularly products that are full of such great stuff like this, in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you recommend no. or no? No. Okay. You don't have to no store worry. it in the refrigerator because it's natural. Uh, and a lot of the things that you have to store in the refrigerator are things that are either not natural or that have a lifespan because they're going to die fast because uh, it's like a fruit right in there. Gotcha. But if it's something that has been processed correctly and is natural, then it's not going to die. Perfect. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. So, Victoria, I mean, really and truly, how long have you been using it? Um, okay, so I saw you November. It was like right before Thanksgiving. So I've been using it since then. But um, I and use... look, and it's grown. I, no, it really has. Um, and this is kind of like a bad hair day. I really didn't straighten it all oh, this It's not possible hair. anymore. No, 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 I really do. But you see, I want every girl out there no, to no, no, no. this, this for this to be I really didn't, um, yes. I didn't put as much effort into it as I normally do. That's what I meant to say. Um, but I've been using it since November. Like I said, I used all of my products. So now I only use it when I go to the studio because that's when it's here. Um, but and I was taking it. 
all going to start taking these products. Right? I, but I've been telling you, right? Because she, right yeah. when I met her, she told me she was having all these problems with her hair. And I said, I was like, I don't know if you heard of this, about this. It's new. It's the Miracle Elixir collection. I showed her pictures of you. I was like, <laughs> yes. Isn't she right. stunning? And I was like, oh. look at her hair. Like, her hair is like, it goes on for like a mile. Yes. They're going to make like me blush here. Your hair has like an, an additional person. Oh. <laughs> it's I know somebody, person somebody person. opened a Twitter on the Twitter, the That's hair right. of Joyce, oh. the hair of Joyce. Yes. And I was like, who is that? I have to follow them. The I'm like, hair let me Joyce know has your so they, right. made their, they made the Twitter thing. You know what's coming next? Your own emoji. You no. Just be a human sure. hair. Right. Yes. Yeah. Hair flip emoji. Yes. Sexy emoji. Sexy emoji. Copy Do you have a list? Also, George, we want to know. Do you have a list of all the your favorite? You know, different designers and where you shop and things like. You, you know, know what? Everything. Well, you know what? I love so many different brands, but I'm mm -hmm. I'm not a brand. Um, it's a bad addict. word. I don't want to say it right now. But a brand addict. A brand addict. That's a good word. That's a good word. I'm not a brand addict. I like to go to the stores and whatever c catches my right. eye. Mm -hmm. I even go to vintage stores and I get great stuff. So I'm not based on the brand. I go and whatever catches my eye that I love, you know. that's what I get. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, I'm yeah. so, it's such an honor to oh meet gosh. you. Thank you. I love your story and I love the story about you and your husband. Thank you. really touching today on Friday Feeling and, and you really are what we desire all of us to be, which is authentic, beautiful Thank inside you. and out, and just excited to try your products because they're all natural, organic, and that's that's the heart of the show. Yeah. There's yeah. a miracle yeah. elixir. Right. That says it all. <laughs> We're all about miracle. Miracles. Thank yes. you. You guys are so sweet, and I'm sure that this show is gonna just grow and grow and be super successful because you guys have amazing chemistry yeah. and you're so sweet, and that's the most important right. thing. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much, you guys. So. So excited. Uh, have a great weekend, you guys. We're going to come back here for Motivational Monday, and I know I've got all the motivation. I mean, I'm inspired. I'm going to go shopping. No, just kidding. <laughs> so have a great weekend, you guys. We will see you on Monday, 9 a.m. on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. It's going to be a Bye good one. Bye, guys.